We give all praise and thanks to God for this year. It has been one full of testimonies and victories, and we know that all things are working together for our good. Bless God uh, for the opportunity and the privilege to uh, share with you a few of the things that the Lord has done in our midst in the year 2017 and 2018 in the Europe mainland continent. Our continent, Europe mainland, is indeed uh, a mission field by excellence. It is the one uh, mission field in which the governments, the people, are tolerant of everything. They are people who know a lot about you know, the Bible, but yet when it comes to the things of the Lord, they are extremely resistant. But the only this year, the Lord enabled us in a special way uh, in Region 1, Region 2, Region 3, uh, you know, led by, you know, Pastors Leke Shanusi, the PICR for Region 2. Uh, it gives me great joy to give all praises and thanks to the Almighty God for what God has been doing in Europe mainland at large in the past one year and also in Europe 2 region in particular. And in our PICR for Region 3, Pastor Shola Oludoyi. We're thankful to God for what the Lord has done in Europe mainland mission in the last one year and in Region 3 in particular. Indeed, God has been faithful in our regions. We are called to be a blessing, just as we have been blessed. It is with this understanding that we serve those around us who are in need. The OZD Mission Project was an outreach program to reach out to Hungarians and give them the opportunity to embrace Jesus as their Lord and personal Savior. In 2017, in line with the educational and empowering programs of RCCG Ciudad de David, the church started an academy in the church premises with Brother Johannes as director, giving English and health courses such as geriatrics, Alzheimer's and so on. To the glory of the Lord, the startup was successful and recently had the first graduates from the academy. In Warsaw, Poland, the church social responsibility includes visits to the rehabilitation center and old people's homes to give clothing, food, and monetary donations. In Holland, we collaborated with a non-government organization called Unity in Diversity to support immigrants in the Netherlands. Activities included a hospitality day held by Jesus House, Amsterdam. Detergents and other materials distributed to the poor in Bosnia. Counseling sessions given every Wednesday at Jesus House, Amsterdam. And so much more. In Gothenburg, Sweden, Romanian gypsies were invited to the church for a Christmas dinner. Gifts of clothing and food items were distributed. In Poland, we took to the streets of Warsaw 
to declare and proclaim the good news of our Lord Jesus Christ. One of our parishes in Belgium organizes free breakfast before each Sunday service for all people. In Russia, we provide regular welfare packages for orphans and widows in form of monthly allowances and school fees. We are grateful to God for what he has done through us. Our prayer is that the Lord will bless us even more so that we can do greater works in his name. Our young people are actively involved in our churches and there have been various youth programs which include indoor and outdoor activities. We have a very vibrant youth ministry. In July 2018, a joint youth conference was hosted in Milan, Italy, with over 500 young people from different parts of Europe mainland in attendance. There were ministrations from Pastor Johnson Odeshola, Pastor Dele Olowu, and Pastor Leke Senusi. Our young people were impacted and empowered to make a difference in their various countries. The Pastors Seed Forum has been active in our regions. The PSF team have been doing exploits for the Kingdom of God. As part of their exploits, in January 2018, the PSF team in Ukraine visited the Institute of Occupational Medicine of AMS of Ukraine State Institution. The team were there to encourage and pray with the military men and women. The team also gave a gift of a massage bed to the residents. In July 2018, our mother in Israel, Pastor Foluke Adeboye, turned 70. To celebrate her, the PSF team organized 70 hours of praise for her and this took place in different parts of the world. Europe mainland was not missing in action. Throughout the year, and two very big events. The first one being the Europe, European Ministers Conference, which was held in Helsinki in Finland, which attracted many, many people from within and out, in, outside the Deep Christian Church of God, indigenous and people of African descent. One week afterwards, you know, the big you know, uh, festival of life in uh, Berlin, Germany. In celebration of the life of our General Overseer, Pastor E. A. Adeboye, praise concerts were held in different parts of the regions. I would like to end this uh, short overview of this report by saying that indeed we are extremely grateful to all those who support us, such as the uh, Central Missions Board and the regional and provincial pastors from Nigeria and the UK who support this great effort. And I'd like to uh, invite all of you to our conference, uh, the European Ministers Day, uh, Convention of next year, which we have called no longer Eurocon, but Europe Arise uh, 2019 from 17th to the 20th of April. Every one of you will be invited. We'd like you to come and join us. And we trust that the Lord will you know, cause us to see a totally new Europe. We're expecting over 6,000 people and we'd like you to be one of them. God bless you and thank you. Also thanks to our daddy in the Lord, our mommy in the Lord, and the leadership of this mission. May the Lord continue to strengthen them and help them and cause them to go from strength to strength and grace to grace and glory to God. In Jesus' name.